Beijing residents are getting increasingly concerned as smog continues to worsen. This week again, air quality has reached dangerous levels. It may be little wonder after new findings that China is heavily reliant on coal. The smog crisis in Beijing continues with the air quality index hovering over 400 around noon on Tuesday. The reading is on an index that measures particulate matter in the air with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers, known as PM2.5. A level of 300 is considered dangerous, while the World Health Organization recommends a daily level of no more than 20. Air quality readings from the U.S. Embassy in Beijing peaked at an index level of 475 at 1 p.m. local time. On January 12th, levels exceeded 700, causing a public outcry. Beijing's Children's Hospital has seen a significant increase in the number of child patients. Parents holding babies and young children are sitting in the corridor beside the respiratory ward while many children are on intravenous drips. Hu Chengping is worried about her daughter's skin disease. Of course I'm worried. My child has a skin allergy. Before, she very rarely experienced symptoms, but the doctors say that with the recent air quality getting worse, there are more and more patients suffering from this condition. Nearly 50 percent of patients in the outpatient ward are suffering from respiratory diseases. High PM 2.5 levels in the atmosphere can cause acute respiratory diseases, including cardiopulmonary disease and lung cancer. Beijing resident Wo Xiaoling says the authorities need to take steps to control pollution. They need to plan properly, including construction, traffic and other aspects to decrease the pollution as much as possible. In the past, there used to be a blue sky, but now we never see the color of the sky. There are really too many elderly people and children getting ill. Emissions from coal-powered factories and heating plants and fumes from millions of vehicles are causing the dense haze in Beijing. Data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration shows coal consumption in China alone equals the combined consumption of the rest of the world. Coal is much cheaper and is largely used in developing countries like China, despite the harm coal causes to human health and the environment.